What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. If this is the first time you're hearing my voice and seeing these hands, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and join the family. Over here, we are all about budgeting, saving, and getting our life right all 2021. So I am here with my debt monthly tracker, my debt update. Now, I had mentioned the last time I did a debt update that I wasn't going to be doing this monthly, so I did not do one in March for February. But you guys, what I have decided to do, I think is best if I did this monthly. It will help me see how much progress I'm making. It will help me, you know, I feel like it will be the motivation I need for me to become debt free faster. When you can physically see like, oh, I paid off this amount. Oh, my dec my um debt decreased by this amount. I feel like it's more motivating. Well, at least for me, you know. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. I created this little debt snowball tracker. I don't know what it is with me guys, but lately I'm just into like little papers. So I'm thinking about um probably putting me together a planner or like a little binder of some sort with all the little papers that I am creating so I made this this is my debt monthly tracker and I'm going to be using this every month to keep me on track with my progress and you know just see how my debt is going so you guys um this is for even though we are in April this is for the month of March I wanted to do this a couple of days ago but I wasn't able to so we're gonna do it now so this is for the month of March now I'm going to list my debts here and then, you know, we're just going to get right into the video. You guys, I really don't have that much of debt. Um, I don't know how much I had when I started. And if I would have been, you know, tracking my progress and doing monthly, you know, debt updates, then I would have a better idea of exactly where I was when I started so I can see overall how much I paid for. Um, so let's do the debt name. So we have debt A. And as you guys know, or if you don't know, I am all for, you know, sharing with you guys, motivating you guys, updating you, and so on for it. But it's just certain things that I feel like is 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 a little too personal for me, you know. And I don't feel that you knowing the names of each debt will take away from the fact that I paid some stuff off, okay? It, it won't. I promise you it won't. So, yeah, I'm just going to label my debts as debt A, B, C, D, and e oh and you guys before i forget if you see anything in this video and you're like oh that's cute check out my description box down below there is a link for everything so my previous balances you guys the last time i checked my um debt balance for debt a it was one thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars so that's how much my previous balance was for and mind you guys the last time i checked Oh, I tracked my debt March. This is for March. I didn't do it in February. So this is the last time I tracked my debt was in January. Okay. Debt B. Last time I checked it, it was at $1,414. That's debt B. Debt C. It, is, it was at $600. Debt D, it was at $1,614. And debt E, you guys, I'm so happy to come here and announce that debt E is paid off. Well, debt E was paid off in my last video. But I'm still going to big myself up. Go, girl. You paid it off and you didn't charge it back up. Okay, so paid off. I actually paid this off twelve thirty one twenty. I was like, I'm not going to go into the new year with this, this baby debt. So I think this debt, I think it was $81. So you can um, check my old debt update video and you'll see how much this debt was. But I'm pretty sure it was $81. It was like a very small amount. So I'm just going to put some lines through it. So excited because this is paid off. And I can't wait to do this to, to my next debt. Okay. All right, you guys. So now that we have... Um, our previous balances, oh, let me do the previous debt total. So our previous debt total, it was $4,941. So that's how much um, my debt was in January. 
So now, you guys, let's get into our current balances for my debt. And you know, I don't know why I always say our and us. And, and it's legit me sitting in my living room, you guys, <laughs> recording this video. But I really feel like I be talking to you guys. It's like, you know, when we interact and socialize with each other in the comments and things like that. I feel like y'all are my family. Y'all know that, right? All right. So, um... Let's go to the current balance for each debt. So, you guys, debt A, it was at $1,313. Now, debt A is at $1,093. Let me grab my calculator, and then let's see how much we actually paid off. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so I done searched high and low for my calculator. I'm not even sure where it is. So, I'm going to be using my daughter's tablet. But, you see, it's knocking over my little setup. I'm going to use it here. Come on now, tablet. Come on. Don't be disrespecting the flowers, okay? I'm going to use it here on the side, you guys, to um, punch my numbers. And then you'll just see what the total is when I'm done. This tablet is too big to fit up in my shot. So, we just going to use it on the side. So, we have 13. 13, you guys. And we're subtracting... $1,093, and that gives us a total of $220. So we're at minus, yes, baby, yes, $220. So I have paid off $220 for debt A. Okay, debt B, it was at $1,414, and now debt B is at $1,342. So when we do the math on that, you guys, we have 1414 minus 1342, and it gives us $72, you guys, minus 72. Okay, so the next debt, debt C, it was at $600. Oh my gosh, you guys, this debt is now at $888. So when I punch the numbers here on the side, that gives me a difference of 200 plus 288. So this debt increased by 288. Okay, you guys. So we have, you know, my, my buddy, my pal, the neighbor's dog is barking. I am not stopping this video, waiting for the dog to stop barking. It, we have a special guest in the house. I'm going to have to knock on the neighbor's door and ask, what is your dog's name? Because your dog is always making appearances in my videos. I hope the dog barking isn't too distracting, and I hope that the dog shuts up soon, bottom line. All right, so for right here, this debt increased by $288 because this is a card that I used when I went on vacation. I do have great cash back rewards and, um, you know, things of that nature. So I don't mind swiping my card because I know I'm going to get a portion of my money back. So the next debt, you guys, is debt D. And debt D was $1,614. And you guys, you guys, we are now at $816 for this debt. Woohoo! $816. And I'm going to punch some numbers. We know it's minus. We know it's minus, boo. Okay? So we have 1614 minus 816. That will give us $798. You guys, I paid off $798 for this debt right here. This debt, I actually paid for the month of April already. This debt right here, I usually pay like a week in advance. So at the end of the month, I'll pay for the next month coming up. So this balance at this point, it is actually lower. But I didn't include it because it would have technically been the balance for April, not for March. So this is actually, let us let me tell you right now. Let me, punch, let me punch some numbers. Okay, you guys. So I punched some numbers and the actual balance for this debt is nine is four hundred. Oh Lord, why am I making it more than it is? It is four hundred and ninety-five dollars, you guys. But I'm putting eight sixteen because again the additional money that I put was for well, it wasn't even additional money. The money that I just put was for April and not March, so technically it doesn't count for March. I will say this, you guys, the end of next month, May. 
instead of putting my normal 320, I'm going to put the whole 495 and I'm going to eliminate this debt. Like it's going to feel so good for me to do that. This was my highest debt. This debt did take me the longest to pay off. So I'm really proud of the progress that I have made um, up to this point. But next month, next month, baby, we're going to be celebrating because this thing is going to be out of here. And I will be an extra $320 that I'll have in my pocket every month. Like, come on. Hello. Let's go. So you guys, I'm just, I'm excited and, and I'm not even ready to cross it off, but I'm still excited. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to see what my current debt total is. So with all of these added up, it's 4941 Now I'm going to add up all of these and get a total and then we're going to see how much debt I've paid off in total. So let me just punch some numbers and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I have a total of $4,139 in debt. That is how much debt that I have left to pay off, you guys, okay? And the amount of debt that I paid off um, for March or since the last time I did a debt update, you guys, it is, can you believe it? Come on, come on, say it with me. It is 800 and two dollars you guys i paid off eight hundred and two dollars like is that not amazing is that not amazing and i was able to do this you guys i promise you a hundred percent i was able to do this and pay down debt by using the cash envelope system it allows me to make sure my money is going where it needs to go versus just sitting in my account and I'm also able to save extra money for debt using that system on top of paying however much, you know, I'm putting towards each debt. So this is amazing, you guys. I'm so proud of my progress. I come on here every week. Let me just say this. Not to brag, to boast, to, you know, try to convince you of anything. That, that's not my goal here. I come on here every week, you guys, just to share. Share with you my personal journey. Share with you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, if the systems that I'm using are working, if they're not. Like, if I'm doing something and it is just a flop, best believe I'm going to come on here and tell y'all, listen, this did not work out for me and here is why. So, I appreciate all of you, every single one of you who come check out my videos, leave a comment, thumbs it up, do any interaction on my channel, I really appreciate it because I've this was just something for me. Like, I'm just trying to hold myself accountable by putting these videos out to the world, okay? The world will judge you, okay? And um, look what it's turned into. Me actually saving money, paying off debt, and so many other things. It, it's amazing. Like, you guys, 2020 was my year, or so I thought. 2021, I'm not letting up yet, okay? We're going to keep it going. Let me know down in the comments below how much debt you were able to pay off last month. Talk to me because your girl always talks back. Don't forget, you guys, to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.